<clears throat> Okie dokie. Do you see, Sunan? Wow, I am really far away. Part of us that lives on with God when we die. Bishop Aelfus passing has made me wonder. dries up the bones. Does Magister Batter not teach you the scriptures? Magister Batter is a horse's dangles. And here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? I did only what I agreed to, Alfred. If your crown now weighs heavy, I would gladly take it from you. <sighs> Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion. But English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for our people, don't we, Eivor? Yours and ours. The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Did you discover more from the writings I found? I did. The Quill is calling the children of Winchester to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets. Feral and untutored. I can talk to some. See where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done. And try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your Saxon mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reeve, Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death. Then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by. I found no charm, lucky or otherwise. A bit of silver, then? For my troubles. It would not have the same value, would it? You ugly Dane! May God curse you with boils on your face! Well then, glad I didn't give her Spry, any silver. little mouse. Will you lead me to your quill? Heaven will swallow the smoke of Aelfus Blood Little rat. Very poetic. But he's going to be buried in the grounds of the Minster. Ah. Now we can always pay our respects.
Come back here, child! You there, little cut purse. Keep your beak out, Nosy! I'm starving! Okay. Wait, can I question these children? No. <clears throat> Stealing apples, eh? Fruit don't feed a grown boy. Do you have any chicken? I do not, but maybe you can tell me what you know of the quill. The quill? God blimey, you're brave. Find out Wynn and Wigbert. They see everything. Excuse me. Where the hell are they? Stretch your wings, Sunan. Oh, uh, the child up there. Gotcha. <laughs> no? No? Okay, that way? My bad. Thought I was going the right way. Ah, these two. God's beard. You'll set Winchester ablaze. Roly poly mutton man. You can't catch me. Oh, God help me. I'd rather be shoveling dung in Malvern again. Am I going the right way? Sooner, guide me. I am. Okay, where are you gonna be, little girl? There, you, right there. No, can I? There we go. You again? You should mind your own beeswax. Elwyn, is it? You wield fire like the flaming Jotna. It, it was burning when I found it. Hot days like this, things just go whoosh. Well? Oi! Wigbert, you great moon calf. Hand it over, Alwyn. We saw your little shadow take it. What are you looking at? I'm not sure. Looks like an old lady's been rolling in shit with all the other ugly sows. A hog in a dress, maybe? What I meant to do. Maybe? Oh, okay, I'm being shot at.
Could have just fucking let me be. <laughs> that showed them. Trouble seems to follow you. And I wriggle out of it like a slippery eel. Why are you following me? I'm looking for the quill, so I'm asking you, his little worker bees. Us? Working for the quill? Shows what you know. Is that so? I am innocent as a lamb. They were the quill's thugs and you killed them. Wouldn't want to be in your boots. It sounds like you owe me your life. This one's brave and strong. Might be able to help us. So you are not working for the quill? We steal to stay alive and out of the quill's clutches. But you know where I can find him. They come up from the sewers like rats. Go on, give him what you took. Maybe he can save us. Good luck, Dane. Try not to get maimed and all that. Oh, I'm gonna kick his booty hole. <clears throat> yeah, excuse I should me. watch out for a mouse trap. You have the wit that you and I possess. Most see the world in simpler terms, where we are the weaker sex. A brood mare who preys on innocence, and you brag about strength. How little you know. Defend your mistress! Oh, oh hello. Okay, I didn't realize they could shoot like that.
Using children to spy and steal for your order. To educate them. Give me a child until you're seven, and I will give you the man. Or woman. What use are letters when a child can only write his name in pig shit? Or wisdom in a woman when she cannot wield it beyond her heart? <laughs> I taught little Alwyn so much more. Saved her from a life less worthy. She will find enlightenment in the Order, just as I did. If I could save them all, I would. But you cannot. You have corrupted too many to save too few. you sacrifice for infinite knowledge? An immeasurable gift. Why refuse it? Not their innocence. said to meet him at an alehouse nearby. It's the first time I've heard them say non requestia and pache. Rather than requestia and pache. I like that little throw back there. There we go. Much better. Sweetness. 
Is this where Justice hides when she's tired? Hides? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the Quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I've been called worse. Be thou hail, Eldorbana. That's life destroyer in our dialect. I sat easy with my kinsbane, old honey waves alive in my horn, and my eyes on the door, expecting my death, yet unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool, you may often find a friend even amongst your enemies. I could use someone like you in my settlement, with ink on his fingers and a sense of honor. I would love to devote myself to the study and practice of the law. There is a weariness in war I wish I could shake off. Impossible. Even in death our battles will rage on. It is the way of things. I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, you have given England a hope of unity. It must be a sour apple to swallow, knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. Are you sure the Six is dead? The Bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the Bishop was the Six, the Six is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I do not believe it. Too much stared in Winchester. Overwrought prayers and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Abel. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. Whether you find or make a corpse, meet me at the Witten with your report. I bet he's still alive. Or, or Goodwin right there is actually the six. It's either he's not dead, or the guy I've been talking to the entire time is obviously him. Got you, bitch. <laughs> if the bishop is worm meal, then here should be the proof. A stranger comes to Wember. You do not mourn like they do. Wember is always here, helping the sleeping, singing to them. So they are not frightened before they make God. The sleeping? You mean the dead? Wimber helps the monks. Dig, dig, dig. You dig the graves. Did you bury Aelferth? Have you seen Layoff? My poor friend. Poor, poor Layoff. Layoff? What happened to him? Sleeping. Sleeping like my dog when I hooked him too hard. Someone heard Leof. Yes, yes. And while he slept, they stole his face. He's not dead. This guy looks like he needs to talk to someone. Are you the bishop's family? God no. Just here to make sure that impious bastard is actually dead. He bedded my wife, the randy bastard. Do you not see? I am in prayer. May we speak of your brother's death? Have you no shame? Leave me. I will leave you in peace, then. Hmm... Such a grisly fate. Did you know Aelferth? By reputation, I did. He was no friend of Alfred's. 
I once had them quarreling into Witten. A sad day for Winchester. Maybe now God will reward us with a man who truly believes in him. Did you know Bishop Alpha? No, but I plan to write an epic poem of his grisly demise. <laughs> oh, poor Aelfeth, scorched of face. All your Are woeful you? companions, bold, bionid, weeping. Weeping as you are, uh... Sleeping. Oh, yeah, perfect, yes. What's this? Threadbare clothes. Did they belong to Wemba's friend? The face is burned, and his clothes do not seem to fit his frail body. It could be Wemba's friend. And this corpse's build is slight, frail. Goodwin said Aelfirth was a brute. This funeral is a shadow play. The Order killed an innocent, burned his face so no one could tell, and interred him in Aelfirth's place. His sister knows more than she lets on. What now? A pretty show you have laid on here. But I know the truth. You would dare speak to me? When my poor brother Aelfirth lies cold in his shroud? Your brother is the Sikhs, and no more dead than I am. Heresy. My brother was the Bishop of Winchester. When Goodwin got too close to the truth about your brother's place in the Order, you buried him. Or rather, you buried another in his place. The poor gravedigger's friend. Burning his face so no one would know. How did you... No, I... Talk now. Or you will join the poor unfortunate you murdered in his grave. You bastard Dane. You're as bad as them. I only ever wanted to serve God. God! I know if I tried to kill her, I wouldn't get any information. I just wanted to do it. Oh, just want to see if I could. Together, lad. Oh. Oi, I'm trying to talk to you. the hell? There's something going on with the textures on that wall, too. Um. Do I have to have my hood on? No? What's going on? Oh, oh, there it was. It was right there. Why will you not leave me alone? Enough of this, cat and mouse. Where is your brother, the one they call the Sikhs? He is a ghost now. But he will make himself flesh once more at the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred. Regicide? No. The king will step aside and Aelfeth will lead us all, risen and resplendent as the Lord. You are a damned fool. Excuse me, tree. Let us go kill. That's what we do. That's what we specialize in. Death to the Templars. How many arrows do I have? Only nine? Okay. Go, Zulin. It's 
Lombare ad Furu. He's obviously in this building, right? <laughs> you know, I thought there was another floor here. A broken window here. <clears throat> there it is. That's not at all what I was trying to do. It, um, thank you. <laughs> Oh, look at that. It didn't even bring me to the right place. The other side must be barred. Well, then how am I supposed to get in? here either no what oh right there wait have i already been in here before <laughs> The Sikhs must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. And how can we understand Alfred is a good king. I wish all leaders cared this much for us simple folk. And we mourn him. But the foul deeds of the unrighteous are sown among our holy deeds like cockles and tear in a field of wheat. <laughs> Education, wisdom, enlightened thought. This will raise us above the sins of our fathers. Who will be our spiritual compass now that Bishop Aylford is dead? I favor Tumbiot. He is a pious man. And choose the man who will shepherd our flock. The king is mine! By God, it's true. I just axed a girl in the face. Sweet is the shepherd's pipe when he calls his lambs to slaughter. 
I was born to Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper, dove-like, God watches over you. Then your people came, and God fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all, and I hated him. It may be Alfred's God was testing you. A trial you failed. Alfred's God is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service, from our first breath to our death rattle. My order wishes to break these mind-forged manacles. I am the wolf in Lamb's wool. He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy path to walk. A wolf is but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will only transform into something far worse for all of us. Elfirth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony not lost on me, Alfred. My king, we'll go by back streets to the Old Minster. Eivor may find us there when all has settled. You, Dane. My brother served God. He was not a Christian. He abhorred your God. But why strike him down? Have you no compassion for good men? We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness. But this damned order, their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there. Oh, it's still here. Okay, okay. I thought it was just gonna lead me to like a regular treasure. I guess we'll find out. And the Order's temple? They have a temple dedicated to themselves here? The hell are they yelling? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, it's because I don't have a hood on. Gotcha. Show me what lies ahead. <laughs> and now we are here. Wonder what shall be revealed. Wrong way, huh? No? Oh, it's right there. It's literally right in front of me. Aelfer's sister spoke true. I will find answers in the ruins. This must be it. The door to Aelfer's secrets.
The mark is Alfred, a withered spray from his father's trunk. We should have seen it earlier. So we call himself a poor soldier, including with our king and feeding him names. London and Efferic have already fallen to his treacherous sense. rat. Oh, okay. Excuse me, I'm trying to jump down there? Uh, no, 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 no. Why would you climb like that? Oh, okay. Um... Do I not have another one? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Bulwark England against outside agitators. She's our last great Everything forces they upon did this was earth. To undermine Alfred. She lied to me. There's nothing here of the order. I should see Alfred for my reward. Oh yeah, we didn't find anything amazing here. Nothing amazing at all. Can I teleport to where Alfred is? No. I cannot. Donkey! And now to end this arc. After I get... Uh, uh, there we go. Okay, after I get unstuck. Go, my eyes. <gasps> Put on. Come forth, Eivor. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin? Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. 
All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither? He offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. You'd be a fool to refuse. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumbles to dust. You were wrong, Goodwin. This one is beyond a saving. your chance, damn you! I did not want it. Damn you, Alfred. Come, brothers. Let's end this. I mean, ah, now you can hear me scream. <laughs> I will return to Hytham and Ranvi. They will want to know what happened here. Boom! Sigur. Else. Put that Ruin slot. Hmm. Okay. 
look at the cloak now that's fully upgraded. Oh hell yeah, look at that. Okay, let's report to Ron V now. The order in Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The order wanted him dead, so he thought back. Alfred, the line between friend and enemy is a porous one. I want to see the Alliance map. We only have that one last place now. I have received a unique summons from Snottinghamshire in the north. From your old friend, Vili. Vili? A name I've not heard in ten winters or more. How is he? Well, it seems. Vili asks that you join him in feast and celebration in honor of his father, Heminger Jarl. A welcome invitation. It will be good to see him again. It is worth recalling that his father, Heminger Jarl, would be a formidable ally. Will you go? I will leave for Snottinghamshire today. Good. They will be pleased. Excuse me. I had to make a burp. I don't think you guys heard it though, but... Nonetheless... Show me. They're all like a thousand each. Uh, let's go and sell stuff to the store. To see if there's any more hairstyles, which I doubt there is. suit you i think there isn't any more tattoos nope you won't regret this purchase you should buy that is that every I'm... that is everything There we go. I think that's really it that I want to do right now. Save the rest for later when I play with Lou. Yeah. But first... I want to visit Greta Bashire and check on how Soma's doing.
Come on! Oh, that way. I'm like tired and hungry. Toma, where are you? Why are you standing on the table? Toma! I have an iron stomach and a powerful dash. What the hell is Soma? Oh, okay. Guess that's where I'll leave it.